to kind of scoop. Really good juggle potential as well. But this is the thing. They have that Cloud Syndrome. When you get them into that disadvantage, Peach has those options to kind of, kind of just snuff them out and force them in really good situations. And right now, Player 4 is taking a very big turn here, getting that 53 up on play, the read right now. Oh, messing up the second part of that upbeat. Player 4 finding a nice little 60% combo already to start off the game. And Reed immediately dishing that damage back. We're seeing a really aggressive play from this Mitha right now. I think for this match specifically, we're going to have to play really Oh my god! Nice foot, so they're not getting much off of that. That up air coming out. Yeah, I think Reed's. Uh, the way I, the approach I'm going to want for this matchup. He's playing really patiently and playing to your range, right? This is a yes. this is one of those matchups you got to remember that you're a sword character, and Peach does not like range. If you stay out there, use that those that Peach uh that ages uh oh my god Pyra forward tilt yes. the up air right the down air does such a good job. We saw that off the out of shields come out and take that first off for Reed. B4 is definitely going to be really struggling to uh, take the stocks here against this character who's playing at max range. Yeah, and Reed's switches have been pretty good right now. The Pyra is hanging on because they know they got per that percentage up and just switching immediately to the Mithra, just trying to get their game plan started now. This is the thing about Mithra. They kind of have that bait and punish game plan. Their speed allows you to just play so reactionary and just allow your yourself to kind of just react to your opponent just committing to these options. And we know it's a pretty tough time with Peach, especially with those flow cancels. Very good stuff. Now we got... Before getting off the ledge, looking to find a little peach combo there. Nice, use that up. He had a shield. Immediately coming back down the fair and the dash. Nice little 31 percent. Player four doing such a good job of fighting those combos exactly when he needs to. But Reed, like I said, playing perfectly at that range, sitting on that platform, waiting for that overextension there from the peach. Not gonna happen there just yet. Literally just waiting for that pirate down air. Oh, finally mm -hmm. see a drag down for player four. That's not gonna do it just yet. Yeah, and Reed getting pretty greedy right now with the downers, and rightfully so. Peach is at 84. You have that range, like you were saying, to do it before but not quite getting the FTL uh -oh. as well. This is uh -oh. definitely going to be a stock very, very soon, but hold up. Reed coming back with a side B and trying to cook with the Lightning Buster. Okay, very interesting option. Nice, there we go. Coming out with the Pyra. The Pyra looking to take the stock relatively soon. Oh, kind of punishing that up special. Yeah, player for remembering getting hit by the first stock. Looking for immediately getting hit with it off the ledge. The aggressive up special coming out and closing these stocks for Reed. Two stocks in a row. Yeah, that's the one thing about Reed. Reed is quite the aggressive player. Like, he will be just getting neutral, get up up from ledge and just hit you with a raw S smash. You're going to be like, huh? Who does that? Who does that? And Reed... Reed does that. <laughs> Reed definitely does that. As player four is looking to kind of get put in the reeds right now, that up doing the work, kind of just scooping all these options as he's just throwing out these back airs, just trying to approach Reed. But Reed is just not letting him just get inside that space. Oh, nice back air coming out, looking to... Gimp, this Pyra, Mithra, and Sith coming out on the side beat. A nice little option. You don't see too often from Pyra players. Definitely a very good mix up. And now comes back down with the Nair. Player for looking to close the stock relatively soon. Oh, the dot face. I think it's definitely going to do it there. Yeah, that dot eye turn up yeah. is so, oh, so wow, strong. The, wow, the magnet hands. Mm -hmm. Pyra definitely has some good, good magnet hands with that up beat. If you space it on right. Jeez. And these side bees are putting in the work right now. Catching player for commit. Oh, and right, trying right, to just right, punish right, the high. All right. Maybe, maybe get a little too crazy with that aggressive. Another one? All right, bro. All right, Never looked. Let's really back in a little all bit. All right, all right. He definitely haven't won this game just yet. Player four at 89%. Peach with a little bit of rage. He definitely gets something started here. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. And oh, that outside okay. shield, very All good right. option there. Seeing that player four was going to be a little aggressive looking for that combo. Yeah, yeah. And Reed closing that out. Taking that game one and one in a pretty comfortable fashion. Yeah, because you're down so much, you really just want to open up on the Pyra. Mithra yep. is a kind of hard character to pretty much struggle with the foresight. And the players are gone. Oh. GG's. Bro? Oh, they just disappeared. <laughs> All right. Who on the next side? Who say, ouch, disappear. No. <laughs> yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, like you were saying, though, that in those last uh, stock scramble situations, you definitely would see the Peach players looking for that. Oh, well, I'm playing Peach. I'm mm -hmm. not losing, right? I got to turn up. I got to go boom. in. That 70 These hits nope. don't lie. And those those hits are lying there. These hits ain't lying. Player 4 is going to show you. Plucking tools right now on small battlefield. Let's see how this opening is going to be from player four to answer back to Reed this time around. And there we go. Down throw, reading it with the up tilt. Very, very good stuff. Just getting that early percent and now just trapping the Mithra here. Okay, I'm seeing definitely player four is playing this a lot more towards the Legends game. That's definitely a very smart way to do it, right? Is Pyro Mithra really, really excel in the middle of the neutral stage, right? But once you're off stage and you have that, like that, that off stage game is not very good for these characters. That's our one downside. And player four definitely needs to look to take advantage and abuse the fact that these characters can really recover, especially with a character like Peach, who can absolutely gimp them with turnips at almost any given time. 
Yeah, but Reed switch game looking still phenomenal out here with the Mithra to the Pyra right now. But staying in cool, the Pyra might be a detriment to that game plan right now. If player four kind of just catches onto these unpredictable options, committing to that dare. If that parry game starts going online from player four, it might be over for Reed. Oh, there we go. Turn up set up there once again. Falling out of the dash tag. We come back on with the second hit of the up special. Player 4 playing okay. this game a lot more patiently, right? Realizing that Reed's going to play this patiently, trying to play at that range. Realizing like, hey, I've got this projectile. As long as you don't, as long as I don't really overly commit, I can play this game at this range, right? I, I can tussle right now. I'm not looking to play a super mashy play style. I can definitely tussle with you right now. Yeah, and you can see Reggie right there. Reggie just trying to snipe for that shield poke that was there with the fair, but unfortunately, Reed is getting the upper hand in this situation. Forcing oh. him out of the ledge and just getting that Takes down the upper in. hand and immediately drops you off the ledge with that. Very good stuff. Reed taking the lead and absolutely oh. running with it. 28%. But player four, the four here is not going to do it just yet. Grabbing the turn up there. What a play there from Reed. Okay. Go back to stage. I think fourth throw is not going to do it just yeah, yet. Yeah, no, just resetting yet. the situation once again with the turn up. I love that oh. swing to not get hit by that. And the side B just come in and respect oh, on the, the stage. Oh, the smash. I'm loving the confidence from Yo, Reed right now. You can tell now. Reed knows his matchup, right? Reed the way he's playing against around these turnups off stage are just so smart. Like you're expect, like I was just talking about this, right? You're talking like the, the free. I mean, we saw right there too, the, the turnup coming off stage. Mm, the free. <clears throat> oh, the tea bags back. The tea bags. The free edge guards with the turnup instead. Reed de definitely give himself a, a live off stage and player force out a lot more to oh, do. Oh right. With. Oh, there's the flame uh -oh. now doing so much damage at the shield, and that is gonna be really, really oh, scary. Oh, what a read! Reed just read with the, the reads read. and look oh, at the tea bag game. All right, it's having a good old time here, a grand old time. I would definitely say Reed is probably no stranger to this matchup as they've definitely played against Cody, which is another Peach player here at Westchester who does quite well for themselves, frequently top inning Encore. So, you know, this is definitely a matchup we see often here as Cody comes out very, very often. But right now, this is the Player 4 show. And Player 4, oh, the show kind of going downhill right now as Reed is just getting so much juggles, so much damage off of these openings. And right now, Player 4 is just looking to fight back with the Peach, with the back air, just trapping once again here at the ledge. I mean, 90% coming out. Player 4 definitely still got some uh, fight left in him, but Reed is keeping that pressure on with the Mithra, playing, literally playing musical chairs around this Peach right now. Trying to keep him definitely on his toes, getting that little bit of damage up. Player 4 a little bit over committing there with the side B. And now Reed with that lead. Oh, this, oh my god! Wait, who does that with Peach? Bro, just trying to play it off that footstool. That was insane. And right now, Reed just looking to just command this respect back to stage with the side B. Very, very good to catch player four before he commits to throwing these turnups. I'm liking this play and just locking it down once again. Player four sitting in a very, very scary situation, oh. but just coming out with the peach back here, looking to even things oh up on here. Oh my gosh. Ear. The side B used from oh. Reed at the ledge have been absolutely immaculate, right? Like, player four has not been able to yet punish this pirate side B at the ledge. That's not going to do it. Yeah, that's definitely yeah, not that going to do it. Yet. You're all the way at the other oh side of the gosh. stage, but, you know, this juggle situation, it may spell the end for here. That flow cancel is gone right now, and Reggie looking to just hang on with the uppie, making it back to stage this time around, but Reed locking it down. That's a whiff dash attack on the shield, but no punish. Oh, the mash out into uppie. Wow. Grab release immediately into the up special. Reed is looking to close out the game in a very explosive fashion. 2-0 over our boy player four. Even more command. We saw player yeah. four making those adaptations, right? And going into the game, playing really patiently that first stock. But Reed just saying like,